vehicle. The show's called Vintage Vehicle. This is certainly a vintage vehicle, a 1917 Simplex. What's going on here? Well, this was owned by John D. Rockefeller, and it was actually the most expensive car at, in 1917. The frame was $7,000 alone, and the car sold for $26,000. Well, the, the, pretty much one of the richest, if not the richest guy in the country was driving the most valuable car, the most expensive car in the Absolutely. country. Absolutely. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. They only made 325 of these, and it was only 46 horsepower and 9.8 liters. That's, a, that's not very many uh, horsepower, <laughs> not much horsepower, and a whole lot of liters. Things were uh, done differently back then. I don't think they were racing this vehicle. Mm -hmm. The one thing that really struck me as unique on this car that you pointed out to me earlier is a, a real common sense item. It's how come every car didn't have this? Tell us about what that gizmo right there does. Well, what you can do here is flip this lever and this actually becomes an air compressor and you can attach a hose and fill up your tires here. That's the, you pull back on this, Yep. hose is connected here, Right. goes to the wheels. How come every car didn't have that? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that yeah, out myself. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you have, a, it almost looks like, a, I know it's of course not a blower down there, but it, it looks like a turbo. <laughs> yeah, it does. What's going it's on It's actually there? a water pump and uh, it's brass and, and then we have this beautiful horn here and, and gigantic engine, six cylinder. The starter, quite a machine. Yeah, that's it's great. I expected something to be, in 1917, that is the most expensive car in, made in the country, that it would have uh, brass everywhere. And, and just, it, it's actually kind of, uh, well, I guess the name, Simplex, it's actually kind of simple. It's, it's sort of basic. Yeah, absolutely. I, I love this vehicle. It's actually one of my most favorite. Um, it's just beautiful. It's very elegant. And everyone wants to sit in this car uh -huh. when we have events. Mm -hmm. When you have events, are people allowed to sit in the cars, or are there certain oh, ones set up for we'll, that? Oh, absolutely. We'll take pictures in them, and you know, as long as it's not hurting the vehicle, we don't mind at all. Mm -hmm. Do you have a, a restoration process here? Is that correct, or do you do you how, how do these end out. up like this? Yeah, okay. we send it out, and and we're actually starting a youth restoration uh, project here, where we get teenagers involved on restoring cars like this. Mm -hmm. 